has ever seen the world, the world. Because the world is the real world. There is only one real world, the world. That nobody has ever seen, felt, or experienced in any way. What we experience is a virtual reality world, a virtual reality phenomenon, in which there is manifested a virtual reality physical objects, so to speak, which is but composed of your own consciousness. So you're not seeing a physical object in the mind dimension, the physical object that you experience as your sight of is actually your consciousness composing that physical object. Because you see your consciousness. In other words, you experience your visual consciousness, which comprises the visual objects in the visual image as they manifest physically, which is virtual reality physical. It's not really physical. It's a virtual reality physicality of the experience of objects, so to speak, in a 3D mind space. You don't experience real space either. You have never seen real space. Nobody has ever seen real space. Real space cannot be sensed, either through sight, touch, or any other senses. What we experience as space is not really even space, just as what you experience as a world is not really the world. It's simply my mind. It's simply your mind. And the space you experience is the mind space. It's 3D space. physicists have told us that the real space is multidimensional. The real space-time field, so to speak, the space-time continuum, is multidimensional. At least 11 dimensions, some theories have it at even 27 dimensions and even more. If the real dimension if the real world, I'm sorry, if the real world is 11 dimensions or greater and, we're only experiencing and you're only experiencing three. three dimensions, these three, three dimensions are not of the 11 dimensions. They are not the three of the 11 dimensions. How is it that you come to that conclusion? Well, because what you experience is not even the real world. You don't experience the real world. The 11 dimensions they refer to are of the real world. What you experience is not the real world. Therefore, what you experience is not of the same aspects as of the real world. So this real dimension that you speak of, what, what is it comprised of? Well, that we do not know from our experiences of the mind dimension. What we experience in the mind dimension is always confused by everybody as being that of the real. 